Okay, imagine this, right? You just wake up in the middle of the night. It's currently 3 a.m. in the morning, but for you, it's nighttime because you were sleeping and you just happened to wake up. Now, the reason why you woke up is because of a crazy, crazy nightmare you had. And this nightmare was so incredibly terrifying that you're in a cold sweat. Like, you are freezing. It's like you just did the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge and you are not doing well. So you take your wet moist self out of your bed. I know it sounds gross, but you take your wet moist self out of your bed. You walk outside to your uh, to your bathroom. You stare at yourself in the mirror and you just realize <sighs> You know if I'm being honest, I don't know where I was going with this <laughs> <laughs> You realize right you were not sweating that was not sweat instead You find yourself wearing the wettest Nani? merch in the game Whoa, merch store boys, except I'm sorry. I don't mean to uh, be a Debbie Downer. Um, I don't actually know if the merch store is going to be up by the time this video goes up because I don't know when I'm going to actually launch it. All I know is that I just got my batch of shirts in today and I'm so incredibly pumped for it. In case you guys don't know what the merch store is all about, I, uh, I just commissioned like seven different designs to try and fill up the store uh, and it's looking so beautiful right now. This is not the only design, this is just the, like the main mascot design, but I figured I'd wear it for today's video. And I'll have you guys know, I wore this to school today and I got so many compliments. Like no joke, I'm not even trying to like bump up and, and, and pump up and hype up my own merch by any means, even though I am pretty hyped about it, but that's not what I'm aiming to do here. Literally, unprompted compliments. I was showered with them. This is really coming off as egotistical and that's not what I want to do at all. Um, but genuinely, it was so crazy to me because like my, my math teacher complimented it today at school. Uh, I had the worker at Thornton's compliment it as I was getting gas on my way to school. It was, it was nuts. So I'm really, really excited for this merch store. I hate to like make the beginning of this video a super huge plugging opportunity, but I just figured I'd mention it because this is the first video that I'm recording with it. And it's so beautiful, man. Look at the back. It has my name on it. It has my name on it. But yeah, I know there's going to be hoodies. There's going to be mugs. I'm still not entirely done with the store. If it, the store is up by the time this video goes up, then by all means, peep the link down below in the description. Check it out. It's going to be absolutely nuts. And even if um, and even if, if it's not up by the time this video goes up, I'll still drop the link down below once it is up. So anyways, with that all being said, welcome back to Battle Revolution. What is up, guys? Let me put on my wrist strap before I kill somebody. <laughs> I take it back. I just meant like severely hurt somebody. All right. No, nobody's dying. All right. This is Battle Revolution, not the Hunger Games. Anyways, welcome back. Wrist straps on. We're good to go. Side note, it turns out we can choose from all these Pokemon. You guys kindly informed me in the uh, comment section of the last, last episode. So thank you so much for that because I don't know what I'd do without you guys. Uh, I don't know why I didn't realize it before. I guess I was just so used to choosing my Pokemon over here. It didn't really come to me. Uh, anyways, though, we'll go and scoop up. Let's scoop up Farfetch'd. Why not, man? Why not? We'll rock out with these Pokemon here. So now that we have this knowledge, now that we've gained this, this ability, uh, we should be able to do a much better job here. Also, total side note, but I think I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with this episode of Battle Revolution. I'm going to be using this episode... Let me turn down my volume. That's really loud. Uh... But yeah, as I was saying, I think I'm going to be using this episode as a little bit of a test, right? I literally just came up with this idea, and I was talking about it on Twitter, at Astrid Videos, if you guys want to follow me. Um, and you guys probably already noticed by now, but this episode is most likely, if this idea works out, it's most likely going to be a lot shorter than it usually is. It's probably going to be about 15, 10 minutes, something like that. And the reason why it is like that is because I'm trying out this new sort of style of content. I'm sure you guys are familiar with the Game Grumps and, uh, and their style of content. And if you guys are familiar with the Game Grumps, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Please check them out. They are absolutely incredible. But basically, moving forward, I want to try and make these LP episodes a little bit more compressed and a little bit more high energy in a shorter amount of time. I want to try and trim it up to the point to where it's not as long because I, what I've been noticing, right, and I noticed this first with my own experiences because I am also uh, a viewer like you guys for a lot of other PokeTubers and content creators in general. And the thing I've noticed the most about being a viewer as well as a content creator is that a lot of the times I just don't have time to keep up with 30-minute uh, episodes from like 50 different PokeTubers that I'm sub to basically every single day of the week. So I was, you know, trying to gauge the, uh, the opinions on Twitter. It seems like a lot of you guys uh, prefer to have shorter form form content but uh, without sacrificing like the whole progress of the game. So my whole goal with this video right here is to make the video shorter without sacrificing how much of the game we're actually completing. 
Oh, come on, Monferdo. Come on, man. You gotta be sleeping on the job like that? You're really gonna be doing this to me. You're really gonna be doing this to me. I picked you because I thought you were gonna be essential to the team, but apparently not. Getting back on track, though, that's more or less the gist of this. I have no idea how this is gonna work. This could be an awful train wreck, and if it is, I'm sorry. Uh, but my whole goal with this is I wanna make the content more bingeable. I wanna make the content more consumable, if that makes any sense. Because me, personally, I don't know about you guys, but I don't, I don't keep up with a lot of Pokemon LPs, mainly because of the length. I just don't have the time to sit down and watch 30 minute episodes every single day of the week from all my favorite content creators. Uh, but one content creator, or content creators I should say, that I do keep up with all the time is the Game Grumps because their content is short form, easy to consume, you sit down 10 minutes and it's done, you know? So I, I don't wanna like, impersonate them. I don't want to just rip off their style. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go for a shorter approach. I'm, I'm not- why am I not going for attacks right now? Basically I want to create videos that are about that length except while maintaining the same amount of progress in game in a normal 30 minute episode. Obviously that means cutting out a lot of gameplay but I think overall it's gonna allow me to trim down the fat per se of a video, trim it down to where it's much more action packed, much more exciting, I can add more edits throughout, and um, I don't know, as I said it's totally an experiment so if this doesn't work out then obviously it won't work out and we'll keep rocking and rolling with what we're usually doing, but I feel like Battle Revolution would be like the perfect place to try this out just because of the fact that the gameplay isn't that important. Uh, eventually I would like to translate this over to Crystal and um, and 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 other solo projects if it works out. Oh freaking crit! Are you kidding me? Are you ki- Flaffy? More like Flagon! Alright Farfetch is on you man. Look at that unibrow. Look at that unibrow. Look at this unibrow. We're killing it. We're unibrow bros. Unibrow bros. Unibrow bros. Unibrow bros for the win. Let's go, boy. Bop. <laughs> that did nothing. We're done. And we got static. And we got static. Oh. 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 Coming in with the plays. Jeez. Farfetch, you freaking legend. I. Yeah, I don't. I don't see us winning this, though. I really hope we have a perfect point. If not. Ugh, this might be bad. All around me are familiar faces. Alright, perfect points. Let's go. We're gonna go ahead and change some things up with uh, with this team right here. We got Monferno, who didn't put in much work last time, but I'm gonna hope for the best this time. We got Flaffy, Poliwhirl. Also, Farfetch'd is here, um, of course. Unibrow bros. We got Lumbre and Monferno. Come on, Poliwhirl. Unleash your fury. See those furious eyes? Fucking annihilate. Aw, oh, man. Poliwhirl, you had one... Poliwhirl, you had two jobs. <laughs> Job number one, remove the berry. Job number two, actually knock him out. Thanks. D -d -d Try again next time. I just realized Flaffy's a girl. We're gonna we're gonna take advantage of some attract action right here. Let's freaking go. It's a lot of hits there. Anyways, we got attract and hypnosis. Come on, that's like double obnoxious. We're gonna go ahead and gang up on Monferno because I don't know, he was looking at me funny, even though his eyes are shut. But don't, don't, don't worry about it. Bah! Get out of here, boy. Rest in peace. Yo, that's what you get for being useless on my team in the last round. All right, we're going all in on Flaffy because I just realized that three fourths of my team is weak to uh, Flaffy. So we're not having that, except we're gonna miss the fire spin. That's funny. You know, Monferno, it's almost like you're useless. There you go, Monferno. It's about freaking time. Now, that's gonna be residual damage, which is exactly what we need for this Flaffy. Because, I mean, as of right now, we're not doing any significant damage with Water Pulse. I mean, just look at this. It's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Ah, uh, we're gonna miss the Fire Spin, and then I totally accidentally went for the Water Pulse on Lombre. That was literally the worst. Unless we get a Confusion. <gasps> Yo! Yo! My boy! Alright, that was totally not useless at all, and that definitely paid off. Bro, Monferno, come on! Mm. Monferno, you had one job. You had one, or no, two jobs. <gasps> you know, Monferno, you should be taking some notes from Poliwhirl here. I think Poliwhirl is basically doing your work and then some. Please take notes. Come on, Monferno, get five hits. Get five hits. Ugh. And we're gonna miss the... Oh my god. Luck is just not on our side today. Like, at all. Bop. Sweet! Cool. Again, there's the Absorb. Probably world. Oh no! No, he's being stupid. Okay, sweet. Yeah, keep going for Monferno. He goes for Protect. Alright, that's... That's cool. 
Chill in there with your sub and your protect. This man is defensive as hell. Uh, fire spin. That's, of course, going to miss. Yeah, what a surprise. What, what a surprise, Monferno. Really, really doing a lot there, bud. Come on, Flaffy. Break that sub. Break that sub. I know you could do it. I know Thundershock is weak, but you can do it. You're powerful. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we have a, a exposed Poliwhirl as well as a fully healed Farfetch. That should be able to do a lot to that Lombre. Oh, except he doesn't have any flying type attacks. That's great. The Unibrow bros have led me astray. <laughs> All right, we got Flaffy asleep and Farfetch not doing too well either. Let's go for the knockoff on Lombre this time. Uh, for some reason, I went for it on Poliwhirl? I must have misclicked or something? I don't know. We'll go for the Thundershock on Poliwhirl as well, though. Just to reiterate with this format, um, it's not permanent, it's not set in stone, I'm literally just giving it a shot and seeing how it goes. As I tried to iterate before, I think it'll be fine as long as we maintain the same amount of progress per episode. Uh, but obviously, it's up to you guys, let me know down below. I'm having a good time recording this, it's definitely weird, just because of the fact that I'm not used to it. But overall, I don't think it's really that bad, and obviously I won't really know how it turns out until, uh, until I get to editing this. Anyways, we just got Lombre left, come on, if we somehow still don't win this, I mean, I get that our attacks are, like, doing literally nothing, but... Like, come on, he's so low on health, and we're we're double teaming him, like, far-fetched. Jeez, why? Why? Okay. I'm genuinely starting to get mad at this game. <laughs> because this whole thing about, like, having Pokemon with garbage movesets, it's actually the dumbest thing ever. And I know I've complained about it in previous episodes, but this is, this is genuinely the dumbest, dumbest thing ever. I don't know why they... they put such crappy Pokemon so late in the game. It's kind of sad to be honest, but there we go. Pilar was going to wake up, hit him with that water pulse, hopefully knock him out. Maybe it's not going to do anything. And it's not like I have any other attacks. It's not like Farfetch actually has a stab attack. That'd be absurd. That'd be crazy. We can't have Farfetch, you know, hitting him with the stab. That'd be too broken. Let this be the turn that we win. Let this be the turn that we win, please. Please, I don't ask of much. I'm so eager to get out of this Coliseum, to be honest. And uh, especially with how close we are to, to finally finishing the game, it's just, it's right in our grasp. It's right out of our reach. It's like right there, man. Great game. What was your name again tomorrow? This ocean's a scary place. I agree, man. That's why you should pick up the wettest merch in the game to protect yourself from those, from those Sharpedos, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, anyways, though, I think we're gonna wrap up this little experiment. That's what I'm gonna call this episode. This little experiment right here. Let me know down below what you guys think. Um, we still didn't make that much progress. Like, we literally technically only finished one battle, even though we tried it twice. But then again, I've been recording for 35 minutes, so to have done all that in 35 minutes, um, it would have been just a normal length episode anyway. So I feel like, I feel like we're still, like, in the boundaries, within the ballpark of being as productive as a normal episode. But, with that all being said, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are freaking beautiful. Hit that like button down below, comment, subscribe. Of course, all feedback is appreciated. And, um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. And... Peace! How's it going everybody? This is King Gorvish here. First of all, it's pretty weird that I'm actually uh, I'm uploading a vlog using my HD camera. I just kind of figured it was out. Uh, I was on my desk and I was kind of, uh, I might as well test out vlogging with my actual like video camera that I use, you know, for King Gorvish Originals and whatnot.